Good morning, Broken Arrow, and welcome back to another episode of GMBA. I'm your host, Taylor Smith, here with Ree. Thanks for joining us. It's great to be here, Taylor. First off, I just wanted to remind everyone that Picture Day for BAHS is coming up soon. On October 21st for sophomores, October 23rd for juniors and early college high school, October 24th for seniors, and October 27th for virtual students at Central on Main. Make sure you put it in your calendars. Don't forget to order your yearbook. It's on sale now for $75 at jocelyns.com or in room Main 106. The yearbook staff recently won the National Yearbook Program of Excellence Award for last year's book, so you know this year's book will be amazing. The yearbook staff is going to be taking photo submissions all year through Google Forms on Canvas, so keep an eye out for those announcements so that you can send in your photos. Next week is Homecoming Week. This year, students at BAHS will have the opportunity to celebrate homecoming in a new way. Student Council will be hosting HOCO Fest, an outdoor event on Thursday evening, October 8th, with games, music, prizes, and food. Dinner is included in the ticket price. Homecoming court candidates will also be recognized at this event. Tickets are $15 and will be sold in the Student Union beginning Monday, October 5th for seniors and Tuesday, October 6th for all BAHS students in grades 10 through 12. A student ID is now required for purchase. Capacity will be limited to allow room for social distancing. Masks will be required. Speaking of homecoming, make sure you pay attention to this week's segment of The Big News with Allie Whitaker for more information regarding next week's dress up days. Hi guys, it's Allie here and this is The Big News. With the late start to school, homecoming week is coming up before you know it. The homecoming week theme is Life is What You Make It, inspired by Hannah Montana. And dress up days for that week are Monday, pumped up the PJ party. Tuesday is wrecking ball day, so wear your best construction outfit. Wednesday is best of both worlds, so be twins with your best friend. Thursday is hoedown throwdown in space, so in other words, wear space theme or cowboy theme. And finally, Friday is wherever I go, so come decked out in your best BA black and gold gear. The theme for Friday evening's game is Hawaiian theme. We also have the annual blood drive October 8th in the auction. Well, that's the big news. I'll see you next week. Thanks, Allie. BA Special Olympics is having a parent meeting on October 6th at 7 p.m. on the high school track field. Any students that want to help with sports or events should come. This is a great leadership opportunity. Credit recovery and advancement courses will begin October 6th. The deadline to register for these courses is October 2nd. Students will be able to enroll in courses through their home site counselor until October 2nd, 2020. After that, students may contact BAVA faculty and staff for enrollment. Students may enroll in classes at any time through the month of October, provided there is enough time for them to complete courses. Students may choose up to two courses to take for the semester, and you may add others if you finish those early. The cost of credit recovery is $45, and the cost of taking course for credit advancement is $150 per semester. Juniors, if you would like the chance to become a National Merit Scholar, the deadline to sign up for the PSAT is October 1st, and the test is October 14th. Ask your core subject teachers for more info on what you need to do to sign up. Leadership retreat permission forms are due by October 1st. You can return them to Mrs. Stecker in the Student Union. NHS members, come by Ms. Taylor's room A208 if you still need to pick up your t-shirt or certificate from the September induction ceremony. Our first meeting will be Tuesday, October 13th. Would you like to become a member of NHS? Students are inducted into the BAHS chapter of the National Honor Society in the spring semester. Students must have a cumulative from 9th grade on weighted or unweighted GPA of 3.75 to qualify and must also belong to at least one other club, activity, or sport on campus. If you meet the qualifications, you will be contacted in early February 2021 to be invited to join NHS. Now let's hand it over to Logan Harper for this week's GMBA Sports. What is up Broken Arrow? My name is Logan Harper and this is GMBA Sports. For those of you who don't know, GMBA Sports is where we here at GMBA keep you up to date on all the Tiger Sports action and let you know when and where you can show up and support your Tiger athletes. To start things off, our Tiger football team is coming off a bye week and is ready to take on district rival Jinx. This Friday at Jinx, kickoff is at 7.30. The theme is Hawaiian. 
Make sure to dress out and come support our awesome Tiger football team. They have been doing great this season, off to a 2-1 start. Next up, our Lady Tiger softball team has been on fire this season. They are coming off a win against Stillwater last week. They are wrapping up their season with a game on Thursday against Skytook at home. The game starts at 5, so make sure to come out and show our amazing Lady Tigers some support. Our cross-country team will be back in action on October 13th for a Frontier Conference meet. After a successful state preview meet last week, the girls took first place and the boys took fifth place in their respective meets. Lastly, we have our Broken Arrow volleyball team. They've been killing it all season long, and they will be back in action tomorrow. They play at Edmond North High School at 6.30. Make sure to show our volleyball girls some love and come out to support them. That's all I have for you this week, Tigers. Be sure and follow at BA Tiger Sports on Twitter for up-to-date info all year long. For GNBA Sports, I'm Logan Harper, and I'll see you next time. Uh, I'm Noah Higgins. All right, hello, my name is Will Martin. Hi, my name is Simon Blair. Uh, my name is Brady Reed. My name is Kurt Wing. I'm Nick, I'm a National Merit semifinalist. Is there a celebrity someone says you look like? Uh, closest I've gotten is Danny DeVito. No, but people said I look like Shrek when he turns into a human. What is the worst Disney movie in your opinion? Can I select all of them? Mm -hmm. Mine's Shrek. Uh, I feel like Toy Story went on for a long time. The last one wasn't very good. I don't know, I think the best one is Mulan, but we'll see how the remake does. What class through your high school career was the most frustrating and or difficult? History. History was difficult. Mm, I'd say that was AP Lang last year. I'm not good at English. I don't like it. Science. I had Miss Holman for a little bit, and that was one of the hardest classes I've ever taken, just for some reason. Did not click. AP Lang. Really? Yes because I'm just not an English student and most books were really boring. For myself, I really had the most difficulty in anything that required large amounts of memorization, such as history or science classes where I would just have to sit down, read the textbook, and hope that I remember it the next day. What's something you think people take for granted in daily life? Friendship. I really, I really don't want to, want to include serious answers because if I answer a single question seriously, that's the one you're going to include. I think people take for granted just uh, the ability to kind of be around people, which is something we've really realized with like coronavirus and everything, that the ability to just have human interaction is something that people missed a lot and they kind of realized how much of a premium that really is in life. One of the questions I have for you is, do you sleep with socks on or off? I do not sleep with socks. You do not? No. And why is that? My pajamas are incredible. They're silk pajamas in plaid patterns, light blue in like seven shades of blue. I have seven sets Sorry. in seven different shades of blue. And I got them from Vietnam and they are the greatest piece of clothing that I own. No, never. Why? Because my feet, they need to be free. They're trapped inside of socks all day. You know, the, the dog's gotta breathe. No, that's weird. It's weird. It's wrong, you can't do that. It's morally wrong. No socks, because you got to let your feet air out. Would you rather wear a onesie or a tuxedo? Onesie. Onesie, all day, every day. Quick draw, okay. What music artist, if they come on the radio, do you turn off the radio instantly? Like you just crank that down. Really anything, Justin Bieber, all that, not a big fan. Just, it's, it's overhyped. Cardi B. Taylor Swift. Can't stand her. What is the most overrated cereal brand in your opinion? Frosted Flakes are overrated. No, I don't eat cereal. No, no. Do you, no. Do I, do, I do soup. I'm European breakfast soup? guy. Yeah. Got to be nice and posh. I don't eat cereal. You don't eat cereal. What do you eat in the morning? Soup? Bun me. This is a bad question. I also can't think of anything funny. It's cereal brands. Honey, honey bunches of oats. Most overrated cereal brand. I'm gonna have to go tricks. They're just not that good. What is the longest you've stayed up studying for a class or like working on homework? The longest I've stayed up studying, um, probably 3 a.m. actually last year. I remember distinctly. Class. First hour. No, I mean like staying up from night until first hour. <sighs> We're... That's all we have for you this week, BA. Thanks for watching. Make sure you follow at BAHS Pulse on Instagram and check out the BAHS Pulse YouTube channel for some of the best student-produced content. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.